Hello there, what is up? Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, welcome back. On this channel, we share one little spark of life in each and every video, mainly every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We hang out together, we unbox subscription boxes, we talk about our love for Disney, and we do things. Sometimes we test out products, sometimes we do DIY things, sometimes we just sit down and have a nice conversation. So glad that you found your way. Would love for you to join our community here. We're over now. 950. We're very, very, very close to the road to hitting 1K. Please, please consider hitting that subscribe button, joining our community, helping me on that journey to 1K. So jumping into today's video, I'm not exactly sure if you were like me, but at this time I still have fall decorations up in my apartment, but I really, really want to start decorating for Christmas. So I'm like, do I keep the fall? Do I go with Christmas? I don't know what to do. But one thing, regardless of fall or Christmas decorations, or even if you don't celebrate any of the holidays, we kind of all love a good cup of hot chocolate. And that's what we're going to be making today. So I know usually I do a recipe that is from the Disney parks, in my cooking Disney, Disney cooking, whatever we're going to call it, videos. And I was searching the internets for a kind of quick and easy, not really related to a holiday sort of cooking that we could do together and came across a like family Disney I don't exactly know what it's called. I'll link it down below. But it's a website run by Disney that does have arts and crafts for different holidays. And it does have like different food items like drinks, cakes, cookies, sandwiches, things like that. Like things that are really simple to make. I think that I think the concept is that you're going to make all of these with your kids, but don't have kids. So I'm going to make it with you. This is going to be just a simple hot chocolate with a little dash of Disney magic in it. Let's head into the kitchen and get started. Keeping with a non-holiday theme, I am just going with one of my favorite mugs, this Epcot mug, and a little Mickey format laid out right here. We have marshmallows for decorating. We have sugar and a pinch of salt. And we have the cocoa powder, the unsweetened cocoa powder. And I add a little dash of cinnamon into my hot chocolate. It really makes me feel all warm and cozy inside. And in this saucepan, I have some water. In addition to this, I'm also going to be using some oat milk. You can use any type of milk that you would like. Dairy, non-dairy, it is completely up to you. So what I have in here is some water. We are going to add the sugar into the water. And we are also going to add the salt, which was mixed in with the sugar, and the cocoa. But there's a lot more dry ingredients than our liquid, but we're going to take this over to the stove and we are going to bring this to a boil. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. That cocoa powder. So I'm just stirring things up so nothing sticks, nothing gets burnt. I'm starting to dissolve our powders into the water. So I'm just going to stir this, watch it, and wait for it to boil. So this should also thicken the cocoa powder and make it almost syrup-like. All right, so that is boiling. I'm going to lower it to about a medium low heat. Take this off because I don't want anything to splash on me. And I'm adding two cups of my milk of choice. I'm gonna stir between each cup that I add, trying to get the lumps out as much as possible. So I'm gonna pop this back over into the heat and the directions say that you're going to want to heat this up, stir it, keep stirring, but don't let it boil. Use this time, you see how it's all clumpy? I would use this time to uh, unclump everything. If you wanna use a whisk, I guess you could. I guess that would make things nice and frothy. So the recipe never specifies how long you need to let this heat up. I guess if you have cold milk until it warms up, until, until it's done for you, it reaches the temperature that you would like it to. I did leave out one ingredient accidentally. I left out that you're going to need to add a vanilla to this, but that is the very last step before serving it. So I'm just going with a fork right now, sort of like I would be scrambling it, like this would be scrambled egg, just to make sure that all of the cocoa powder and sugar bits, all of the uh, dry stuff, did melt down nicely and there are no clumps. Even though, I don't know if you're like me, whenever I do like a pre-packaged cocoa, if I bite down into one of those clumps, and like just like the cocoa powder it dissolves into my mouth. I actually really love that. And having been removed from the heat, I'm going to be adding my vanilla. Ooh, that was a little more than should have gone in. <laughs> and that's why you should always add your vanilla away from the actual container. My mom taught me better than that. If you're watching this mom, 
You did teach me better than that. I just goofed up today. All right, so stirring this in. So let's see if we can do this. Pour and decorate. It's gonna go either really well or really poorly. Ha <laughs> ha, poorly, poor. It's okay that I'm single. I laugh at my own jokes. So this could definitely make a serving for two people or multiple people if there's children involved or somebody just doesn't like hot chocolate. Or you can do like me if you had a rough day at work and you just want to take the whole pan of hot chocolate for yourself. Be my guest. I'm not going to judge you. All right. So the way that I am going to top this off, a little whipped cream magic. Fill this up. I'm going to take a little cocoa powder. Drizzle it on top. Gonna dip two marshmallows in cocoa powder. Place them there. There we go. <laughs> Mickey-ish, it keeps melting. All right, there we have it. It is not pretty anymore. It was set up my camera over here and everything melted, but let's give it a little taste. There's so much topping on it. It took me a while to actually get into the hot chocolate. All right, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me, hanging out with me, making some hot chocolate with me. Please do consider hitting that subscribe button on your way out. It would mean the absolute world to me and would help me out tremendously. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in another video. Goodbye.